got it. The gentleman has science gone too far yet again. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, he's Talking Baklava. Today we are testing, once again, armor. We're doing a little steel plate action. If you recall on the channel, I've done, will steel armor get you killed? Yes, no, maybe. And the results were kind of exactly what I expected. Got some frag to the face. But surprisingly, the steel plate stopped everything. Now, so here's a little story for you. I got doxxed by AR500. So when I bought the original piece of steel, they reached out. I bought it as my personal self, not as my YouTube online persona. And they found that email and they caught me. They're like, hey, you want some more? And I was like, perhaps. And so they found me. So I guess why the point of this ball clove anymore? All right. So they sent me some more armor. They sent me a curved steel plate with a even bigger buildup of like the truck spall liner. It looks exactly like the spall liner on my truck. So very cool. Thank you. AR 500 gentlemen. I know you're on the toilet. I know you're watching this, taking a dump, eating your coffee, drinking your beer. Yada, yada, yada. What's most important is that you like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Your comments are a sacrifice to the algorithm of God, a God of which who I love greatly. I love to read those comments, so get down there. Gentlemen, I feel like working on firearms and not human skulls. Then Sonoran Desert Institute is gonna be for you. Get a degree in gunsmithing, break into the firearms industry, help out monkeys such as myself who aren't that good at working on guns but are good at banging skulls. And maybe you can help out someone in need such as myself. So go down and follow the link below. Check out the Sonoran Desert Institute. Hmm. Oh, what we're going to do, I have essentially a little smorgasbord of guns. The plan is we'll do a little speed run through them. And then I also have some level four ceramic plates rated for 30-06 black tip. Face my first hiccup when the gel heads got delivered because they were delivered to me in 110 heat. And I'm not sure if you are familiar what happens to human-like stuff in that kind of temperature. They essentially melt. So to add to the nightmare fuel of the gel head, the entirety of the face melted off the front. and it grew mold on my gel dummy. Murphy's Law got kicked into full effect and I was like, what do I do? Where's all my face skin? And to add even more to the nightmare fuel, we're just gonna put the head onto the dummy backwards. Let's jump into it. I know you guys all remember Dale the dummy. He's our local white supremacist. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Dale, you can't do that. This is YouTube. They're gonna monetize me. What are you doing, man? All right, thank you Crossfire, cool hat, get out of here. All right, now we have our dum dum. Let's see if we can't fit this in here. The biggest challenge I had in the last, <laughs> it's just so terrifying. The biggest challenge I had in the last video was probably getting the head to stay on. So I, I invested in more duct tape uh, that we're gonna put on here in a second. The science on this channel is worse than the COVID science, but you gotta trust it, trust the science. Now there's a lot of strange copium going on in the comment section on the last video. A lot of you guys saying, hey, what about this? What about that? What if you wrapped the steel plate in duct tape? Would that help with the spall? What if you had Kevlar liner? Would that help? The duct tape one is very Bubba and Rednecks, and please don't do that when it comes to life-saving equipment. Please, for whatever reason, I don't... Why? The Kevlar, I would assume Kevlar would help with fragmentation, so that's always an option for you. We're gonna run the steel armor through the gambit. We're gonna shoot all the rounds first. We'll essentially shoot a few rounds on the steel plates, Come back, check the damage, shoot, 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 come back, check the damage. All right, plates in there, about up to here, right there. Try and get the head over it. Kind of cheat like how a normal head would be, right? Not really cheat it, that's probably the wrong term to use for science, but uh, whatever, all right, let's shoot it. All right, gentlemen, these are the guns we're using for the test. KP9, nine millimeter. RPK, 762 by 39. My American RPK, 20 inch barreled, 556. Jim Fuller built AK-74 chambered in 545. Right arm of the free world, FAL, 762 by 51. Over under shotgun, double up buck. We're shooting from about 20 yards. This is to simulate like, you turn the alley and there's the bad guy. Where are you, EOTech Optic? There you are, paid good money for you. <laughs> Gave her six just because. Let's let science decide. I feel bad because the gel head is just so mangled. Welcome to administrative results where we can't do anything right. Any Hauser. Bill and I, the science guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Took that steel like a champ. Looks like I caught them all pretty well, or stopped them all, I should say, pretty well. Don't see any obvious terrible fragmentation. This is to be expected. All right, next we're gonna do a 20 inch rifle. This is where 5.56 starts to really excel when you start putting 20 inches onto the gun. I have some 77 grain OTMs that we're gonna shoot the target with. A little extra spicy round for you. No glaring frag on the backwards head. So, um, 
Looks like it's passing so far, doing good. Seems like it took those rounds pretty well. Did a good job, impressive. Very nice. 762 by 39 RPK. All right, so this is where we start to see this round. Holy crap. So this is where we start to really see some actual damage to the plate carrier. All right, definitely already getting metal coming out. So it's catching it. It's doing a good job of catching it at least, but it has cracked the plate as you can see. Okay, so there's a small cut on the back of the head right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Uh, we'll have to dissect that later, see if we see anything come out of it. Uh, uh, I can't, I mean, it actually looks, if you get up down in there, it looks, I don't know if the camera pick it up, but you have to pick it up with the naked eye maybe. It looks like there's a hole going up into the back of it. So I believe we have our first hole. There's a hole in the back of the head right here. So I can feel it with my thumb. All right, we got five, four, five, very common round being used in Eastern Europe. All right, let's go check the Spalding damage real quick. That's a lot of damage. Listen, I know my last video I said uh, Spalding a lot in place of Spal. Sometimes I just say words, but uh, some, you gotta know what I mean, not what I say. All right. I was a little unsure of my shots. I was like, I haven't fully zeroed the, the LPBO on that 545 rifle yet. So it's kind of like when you're this close, are you gonna miss? But you never know. Sometimes you just suck. All right, it seems like it stopped 545, no problem. Not seeing any more fragmentation. <laughs> Give it three for fun. My FAL, ah, bro. All righty, 762 does not mess around. Definitely tore up some of that plate carrier. It looks like there's some kind of, oh, no, there's definitely some spall. You see that? So it looks like tiny little specks of fragment. And then there's some incision type cuts right there and then right here. So definitely catching some more spall. It's definitely happening. It's just not as clear and contrasted because my face melted on Dale over here. I spent a lot of money on these. It's definitely stopping any bullets. Nothing coming on the other side. So, uh, as hypothesized so far, we've run the gamut minus the buckshot. Plate has stopped everything, just minus we have some frag still on our dummy's head. It's kind of sus. Check it out. A lot of damage to the carrier itself. It's been taking a beating so far. A bunch of frag coming off the plate carrier from the front. The fr looks like so, I don't know if you can see this on the dirt right here, but this is the frag that's like falling out when I pull the plate out. So it's getting caught between the, the nylon and the plate. Plate seems a-okay, surviving, minus the crack from the 762 by 39. Gentlemen, another sponsor of this particular video is going to be Arms List. For acquiring your next spicy purchase, go ahead and check out Arms List. We all need a helping hand every once in a while, and Arms List can get you to where you want to go for fulfilling your inventory's needs. All right, next up, we got our ceramic armor. This is high comm level four armor, rated for 30-06 black tip. It has a shelf life of five years, so the shelf life is pretty much coming to its expiration date. It said this was essentially manufactured in 2017. Five years later, here we are. Definitely tearing the plate up off the get-go. Ooh, that's still hot. So you can see the ceramic on the inside. It caught the bullet. There's asbestos in the ceiling. Maybe we should wear gloves. Checking the head. No fresh damage that I can see. Seeing no frag yet. See no damage, new no damage to the skull, our moldy skull. Bunch of material coming out. Looks like we got some damage from the rounds probably impacting. Oh, oh mama. Whoa, whoa. Look at that. So hitting with the nine mil, then hitting it with that 77 grain out of a 20 inch barrel just absolutely vibe checked that plate. So I think it's just stacking on where that nine mil was. Usually the RPK or the 762 rounds, usually where it's like these things start to meet God. All right. Interesting. Very interesting. Ceramic definitely stopped the 762 by 39 rounds from penetrating the plate. 
I see no additional penetration minus from what we already had. It's probably only gonna get worse from here as the plate keeps going on, but whatever, let's do it for the sake of entertainment. Did the plate fall out before or after I shot it? That's a lot of damage. All right, still looks like it didn't penetrate. Being the ever living god out of this thing. Neat. Yeah, let's do a FAL. All right. Well, that definitely put the uh, the death throws on this thing, that's for sure. All right, so plate's pretty clapped out now. Impressive, very nice. Let's talk about it. So I took all the armor off Dale. He is now naked and afraid. Now we're gonna digest what went on. Here is the steel plate that we shot with a multitude of ammo. Here is our ceramic plate that we shot with a multitude of ammo. Now, it looks like the ceramic plate absolutely fell apart but it did a pretty decent job considering the test. I'm impressed with how the steel armor essentially stops everything. It did a good job. Nothing penetrated the steel. Uh, it is to be as expected. As you guys know, I am more a encourager to not rock steel armor. I'd rather rock ceramic. But what went on in the test? Well, in the test, we went down each one of the guns and we fired a multitude of rounds into the same target. I kind of did this as like, you got, you turn the corner, you got caught by maybe a bunch of guys all with guns. I don't know. It's one of those crazy kind of tests and you never know what's going to happen in real life. But you essentially got lit up by the bad guys. The ceramic armor did a good job initially of stopping the round, but I think it got very weakened by the nine millimeter off the get go. Keep in mind, this armor is five years old. This is fresh steel armor and it has that Duracoat buildup. What ended up going on? So yes, some rounds went through on the ceramic. That was after completely kind of giving up the integrity of the armor. These were rated for 30-06 black tip, but what we didn't see is any sort of frag coming off of the actual, uh, we didn't see any frag hitting the face as what we saw with the steel armor. The steel armor kicked up a bunch of frag, but nothing really penetrated as crazy as a ceramic armor. So it's kind of like a one or the other. I personally, I would still rather rock ceramic. Um, you're not gonna get as, you're not gonna take as many direct hits hopefully as I gave this test. Hopefully you get like one hit, you're like, oh no, when you do the whole Call of Duty top off like you're playing war zone I, I that's how i'm imagining war goes i could be completely wrong i don't know all right my good sir so it looks like we got our hole right here like a very distinct hole it's actually kind of terrifying now keep in mind this style of where the head was isn't going to be like realistic to where your actual face would have been just due to the fact that there was no gelatin on the face i was like well i want to have some sort of a gelatin kind of like where it would catch the skin i feel like it almost looked like there was like a powdery type burn around it. Am I going crazy? Oh, it just feels like I'm going to prison for that. I'm trying to see if I can recover any frag. Oh, I think I see it. Do you see that? A little sliver. Yeah, you see that in there? Well, it looks like we definitely got some confirmation of steel going into the brain cavity, even though this was on the back of the head. This is actually pretty nuts. Um, so that was from the steel plate, not from the ceramic. That's essentially the test in a nutshell. Pretty hard, pretty quick look at science. A little fun little example, nothing too crazy. I wanted to streamline this one. I feel like the last one kind of got bogged down in the mud and I wanted to make this one a little bit more pew, quicker. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe with a comment in the comment section down below. Your comments are a sacrifice to the algorithm God. If you want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, Patreon is an excellent way to support the channel. We have a Discord, we talk about girls, I run giveaways, all this fun stuff. What I'll probably do, Maybe even give away this plate or the other plate. Do a little raffle for the Patreon users. Love those guys. Big thank you to my Patreon merchandise if I haven't said that already. As always, gentlemen, stay easy, stay breezy. I'll catch you on the flip. Yahoo! Damn it. I absolutely took the skin off him. Let's get medieval on this cunt. Props to Ballistic Dummy Lab, these make these skulls pretty strong. All right, gentlemen, these are the guns we're using for the test. All right, gentlemen, these are the guns we're using for the test.